The ACLU is speaking out after announcing the group can't locate the parents of more than 500 children who were separated at the border. The lead attorney told ABC 10 News reporter Jennifer Kastner a San Diego federal court judge is reviewing the numbers. This Friday, attorney Lee Gellert, deputy director of ACLU's National Immigrants' Rights Project, spoke to ABC 10 News about how his staff members have not found the parents of 545 children nationwide who were separated by the Trump administration. We have found hundreds of others, but there remains hundreds who we have not found. Earlier this week, the ACLU revealed the numbers to San Diego Federal Court Judge Dana Sabra in a new filing for a case stemming from a lawsuit brought by the ACLU challenging the president's practice of asylum-seeking family separations, which were put into place after he took office. We then had to go door to door on the ground in Central America looking for these parents. It's a painstaking, dangerous process. We were making some progress but ultimately the pandemic hit and that slowed things down. He said the children are now living with relatives and foster families in the U.S. after they were released from government detention. The ACLU will continue searching for their parents and advocating for their return. We think given what these families have gone through, having their children ripped away from them, they deserve legal status in the United States. ABC 10 News reached out to ICE for comment, which referred us to the Department of Homeland Security. We're waiting for a reply. A status conference is set for December 4th. Jennifer Kastner, ABC 10 News.